Imagine a world where you could turn a mere $100,000 investment into a multi-billion dollar empire. Elon Musk, the visionary entrepreneur, has cracked the code to an insane money hack that defies conventional wisdom. Prepare to be blown away as you uncover the secrets behind his audacious strategy that could redefine the rules of business success. On the brink of collapse after repeated failures, SpaceX faced a make-or-break moment. But in that darkest hour, Elon Musk's rally cry ignited an indomitable spirit within his team. We will never give up. And I mean never. Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. Elon Musk is driven by a strong sense of urgency, aiming to ensure he lives to see the day humans reach Mars. This urgency has led him to focus on reducing the cost of space travel. Elon Musk's relentless pursuit of efficiency and innovation is exemplified by his Idiot Index, a brutally honest metric that cuts through the fluff and gets straight to the heart of cost effectiveness. At its core, the Idiot Index compares the final cost of a rocket component to the raw material costs that went into making it. A high ratio signals an alarming level of waste and inefficiency in the manufacturing process. As Musk bluntly puts it, if the ratio is high, you're an idiot. But the Idiot Index is more than just a numbers game. It's a philosophy that challenges conventional thinking and demands a lean, streamlined approach to production. By mercilessly identifying areas of bloat and excess, Musk's metric focuses his teams to innovate, optimize, and squeeze every last drop of value out of every resource. Imagine the paradigm shift this creates within SpaceX and across Musk's companies. Every decision, every process, every component is scrutinized through the unforgiving lens of the idiot index. It's a constant reminder that complacency and inefficiency have no place in Musk's relentless pursuit of progress. To illustrate the importance of this metric, there's an account of a confrontation with a financial analyst, Lucas Hughes responsible for overseeing the costs of the Raptor engine that powers Starship, SpaceX's vehicle to the mission to Mars. Elon grilled Lucas about the idiot index of the engine's parts, emphasizing the need to know which part are problematic. He was quite stern. Lucas, undaunted, returned the next day with a thorough analysis and a plan to reduce costs. Elon was impressed and the meeting ended with an ambitious goal to decrease the cost of the Raptor engine from $2 million to $200,000 within a year. When asked about his critique of Lucas, Elon emphasized the importance of critiquing actions rather than individuals, stating that the focus should be on continuous improvement. Although the feedback could be harsh, he viewed it as necessary for achieving their shared objectives. In summary, Elon Musk's drive to reach Mars is intense, and he expects the same level of commitment from those he works with. In May 2022, after over eight years of working for Elon Musk, Lucas decided to leave SpaceX. He said, If Raptor becomes the most affordable engine ever created and gets us to Mars, then it may be worth the collateral damage. Another employee who faced Musk's uncompromising expectations was an engineer named Andy Krebs, who was responsible for building the infrastructure at Starbase. One Friday night in July 2021, as Elon was walking with a group of his top managers to the launchpad site and didn't see anyone around, he asked, why is no one working? This happened to be the first time in weeks that Andy didn't have a full night shift on duty. Elon said, what is the fucking problem? I want to see the activity. That's when he ordered a surge in productivity. He wanted the booster and the second stage of the Starship stacked within 10 days. He believed seeing the rocket ready on the launch pad might prompt the FAA to fast-track approval for Starship's first orbital flight test. He sent an email after 1 a.m. to all SpaceX employees, writing, Anyone who is not working on other obviously critical path projects at SpaceX should shift immediately to work on the first Starship orbit. Please fly, drive, or get here by any means possible. Elon ordered 500 workers from all over SpaceX to make their way to Boca Chica, Texas, to get things moving. He said, This is not a volunteer organization. We are not selling Girl Scout cookies. Get them here now. Elon's assistant scrambled to find accommodation for the employees, but the hotels nearby Brownsville were booked up for a convention, so she bought a lot of air mattresses. The workers would have to sleep on the floor. When Elon returned to the main building of Starbase, the video monitor had been reprogrammed to display Ship plus rocket stack T196 hours, 44 minutes, and 23 seconds. Elon does not allow them to round off into hours. Every second counts. In the end, stacking Starship didn't help get the FAA to rush its approval process. 
The first Starship flight wouldn't happen until nearly two years later in April 2023. While Elon Musk is known to be a tough manager, he has a remarkable ability to inspire his team. This was evident after SpaceX's first rocket, the Falcon 1, failed to reach orbit for the third time and the company nearly ran out of money. Facing the real possibility of SpaceX's demise, Elon rallied his workforce to never give up. SpaceX's then head of talent acquisition, Dolly Singh, shared a powerful anecdote on Quora about this critical moment. In front of over 300 employees, Elon said, We need to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off because we have a lot of work to do. Then he said, With as much fortitude and ferocity as he could muster after having been awake for like 20 plus hours by this point that, For my part, I will never give up and I mean never. And that if we stick with them, we will win. Dolly described how the transformation in the room was palpable. I think most of us would have followed him into the gates of hell carrying Santan oil after that. It was the most impressive display of leadership that I have ever witnessed. Within moments, the energy of the building went from despair and defeat to a massive buzz of determination as people began to focus on moving forward instead of looking back. Stage separation confirmed the SpaceX team has never looked back. Starship's third flight test reached orbit for the first time, although their upper stage didn't belly flop in the Indian Ocean as planned and instead disintegrate on its return to Earth. It did not diminish the monumental achievement this represents, and it likely would not have been possible if it were not for Elon Musk's relentless drive. Behind every leap in technology lies a foundation of deep knowledge and relentless curiosity. Click here now for another awe-inspiring behind-the-scenes look at another ambitious endeavor that could revolutionize access to space.